when you have the opportunity to continue to live, fight for your family, your children, the opportunity comes, you gotta do it. Mr. Pinkney's treatment at Mayo Clinic dates back to 2016. At that time, he received an autologous stem cell transplant for his follicular lymphoma. And he was in remission for a good seven years. And uh, unfortunately, in 2023, his uh, lymphoma recurred. You go into that appointment, it's like, dang, I've done this before. Like, I don't want to do this again. And then we meet with our oncologist. No, you don't want to be here, but yeah, this is where we are. It's early, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. But I think you're a candidate for CAR T. My community physician, I mean, for him to say, hey, we're not equipped at this time to handle that. So we're going to send you to Mayo where they can take care of you. I think that's a great, that's a great collaboration, partnership, regardless of where you're at and you're working at. You know, when you go through things the first time, you learn. I know that science has changed in the health field. Things have gotten better. And I was looking forward to being a candidate for this CAR-T therapy. CAR-T cell therapy stands for chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy. And what it done is basically this T cell is re-engineered in a way where it becomes more effective in identifying and eliminating the target, which in this case is the follicular lymphoma. Mr. Pinkness was evaluated. He was found to be a good candidate for CAR T cell therapy. And at that time, the recommendation was to proceed with that. And uh, in coordination with his primary oncologist, which we work very closely with the, our community oncologist here in Jacksonville, uh, we both agreed that this was the best course of action for Mr. Pinkney to make sure that we can, we can treat him with the most appropriate therapy. You know, cancer is huge. That is a huge word. Or let's say 30, 40 years ago, that was a death sentence word. But look where we've come. Six years ago, car T was in its prototype stages. But who knew we would walk this walk again and the prototype would be the very cancer that my husband has. That's a blessing within itself. And just to know that other people are gonna be blessed right here in our backyard, that's amazing. Having a treatment that can change lives in your hometown is powerful. You know, you're the person that's, that's going through it, but you have other people that can benefit for it and through your journey and be able to have a voice to be able to tell them that it'll be fine, it's okay. Just trust the process, trust the, the science. And when you are a patient that's going through something, that is very, very important to have that family environment, that family feel. I believe in the bells that ring here every day. I believe in the doctors that's walking the halls every day, the nurses down to the beautification staff. Everyone that I've ever come in contact here is more than a job, it's a passion. And when passion meets illness, it becomes family. For this to be in my hometown, for me to be able to go home and come back, that's a blessing and I feel good about the future of not only Mayo, but the, those patients, the future patient, the patient that's currently uh, going through the process. And thank God that CAR-T was an option for me. I'm very grateful, me and my family. That's a blessing.